So why do we bruise after surgery and why do bruises change colors? Well, let's talk about it. So the red blood cells in our blood contain an iron binding protein called hemoglobin and it carries oxygen on it to nourish all our tissues. When there's a surgical injury, the red blood cells connect under the skin and it imparts a red color. Within an hour or so, because of swelling of tissue and loss of oxygen for hemoglobin, it turns a bit blue. Within a day or two, it gets even darker, purple or black. And that's because the blood products are broken down and iron leaks out to give it this color. The first sign that the bruise is really changing and improving is when it turns green. And that's because the blood breakdown products have now become Billy Verdin. Verdin means green in Latin. Next step in evolution of bruises is they, they turn yellow, and this is a good sign. It means they're almost gone. It's because the Billy Verdin uh, breaks down to Billy Rubin. Um, and that means the bruise is just about gone. Now, when there's severe bruising, the final breakdown product can be something called hemosiderin, and that could stain the back of the skin and give a dusky brown color to it. And that can be annoying and problematic because it could last for a year or longer. Sometimes energy-based devices like lasers may help, sometimes they don't. So that's the evolution of bruises. That's why it happens. Have a great day. DM me with questions. And as always, that's a wrap.